Hello everyone, Steve here from Tech Toy Tinker and Retro Arena. I wanted to take a few minutes today to show you a little bit more in depth about Game & Watch on these RK3326 devices. The reason for that is because I know that pretty much everybody that's running these things is using the Game & Watch emulator from Libretro, which is fine. But there's a difference here and I'm going to show it to you. Go with Snoopy just for fun. Now watch as the game opens what you're presented with on your screen. I really wish I could disable this uh, autofocus. Now you'll notice that you can see the whole game and watch here. It's also been colorized, which is a neat little feature. However, it's not the easiest to see. And virtually all of the games are like that. Which is fine, I'm not knocking the Game & Watch Core or Emulator. It's great, it's just that on this small screen, having it show the whole thing can sometimes be a bit of a problem, let's say. Because then really you're getting half a screen. So, this category here, the MAME emulator. MAME can also run Game & Watch games. But it does so in a different fashion. Instead of them being colorized and only half the screen and showing the entire thing, it does this. It doesn't work on that game. That's what it does. <laughs> Alright, let's do this instead then. I had actually never tested Snoopy. It was just a random... This is the Super Mario Brothers game, only it's got this weird dude instead of the actual Mario for some reason. I don't know why. I have seen this version before along oh, I fell. I've seen this and the other version before. I don't I have not been able to locate the one with Mario physically in it yet. I am looking on eBay. Um they're pretty expensive, but I'm toying with the idea of getting my hands on the Super Mario Brothers game and watch like the actual I not jumping. Anyway, I'm toying with getting my hands on the real one so that I can get access to the ROM inside for my own personal uses here, such as this. I should start off by saying, though, even if I do buy a Game & Watch Mario or Super Mario, it's not going to be of any use to anybody but me because I don't distribute ROMs, and so therefore it would only ever be used by me on my devices in my videos. However, if you really want the game like I do, I would encourage you to do the same thing and hunt a copy of it on eBay and then just rip it. So the point here that I was trying to make about the difference, you can see very clearly that it's full screen and it's in black and white, which is how an actual game and watch would be. I don't mind the colorizations either. Those are nice too. I just don't like the fact that when you use the game and watch core, it, it makes everything a tiny half screen on this. On the OGS, it's not such a big deal because it's a massive screen, but on this, it really does make it hard to see in some games. And also, I've never seen that Mario game work on the other core. This video is actually because I was talking to somebody in my comment section, and they had said that they had never seen anybody successfully emulate that Mario game, which I just showed you guys down below. I've never seen it done on the actual Game & Watch emulator, but I have seen it done on MAME. So I felt like I would just show people quickly that it does in fact work. Well, some of them. The reason why some of these games are working and some of them aren't is actually not a shortcoming of the game. It's because I'm using the wrong version of MAME. MAME is notoriously slow to compile. It takes hours and hours and hours. And then when you do compile it, it's a specific version of MAME. I think 0 0.236 is the current, or 238. I'm using 219, which is why only some of these games are booting and some of them are not. However, with that being said, the reason why I haven't updated yet, I did compile the later version of the core, or get my hands on a later version of the core, I should say, 
But the arcade games were not working. Like Tiger LCD, Konami LCD. I was unable to launch those titles. And to me, it wasn't worth getting a few extra Game & Watch games, but losing LCD games as a whole. I never really saw that as a beneficial thing to do. And so I'm going to keep playing with MAME and trying to get it to build the full MAME with mess in it until I get everything working. I'm not going to settle for one half or the other half. It's got to be everything. The reason I'm showing you guys this game is because this is actually the game included on the Super Mario Bros. Special Edition Game & Watch. The only difference is this is the real version. It hasn't been replaced with Mario's head. I point that out because I feel like it was a catastrophic mistake on Nintendo's part to use this game with a Mario head when there is Mario Game & Watch games that could have complemented the Game & Watch very nicely. Not that I have an issue with this game. This is a, still an interesting game as well, but I don't think it has a place on the Game & Watch, that's for sure. On the Mario edition, I should say. That's going to about do it for this video. It was never intended to be a very long video. I just wanted to show you guys that there was more than one option when it comes to doing Game & Watch, and then there was an option to be able to do it in full screen as well. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.